Let's end with the defensive side of the ball. They're going to turn to Ed Donatel again a few years ago. This was their calling card of strength. They kind of aged up, maybe aged out. Jason, what do we think about the defense under Donatel? Well, I mean, it's, it's not a surprise. You go back to a year ago, Brandon Stanley leaves the Rams as defensive coordinator to become head coach of the Chargers. Brandon Stanley is a disciple of Vic Fangio. Uh, and Ed Donatel. That's the kind of defense that they have been running there. And even when Raheem Morris came in to replace Staley, it was about keeping as much of those defensive philosophies and core principles in place. Uh, Donatel's been a coach for 42 years. Kevin O'Connell's only been around for 36. Uh, so often when you have these very young head coaches, uh, whatever side of the ball they're on, the opposite side usually is a very experienced, longtime coordinator, if not a former head coach. And again, um, it's a Vic Fangio defense. That, that, that's something that um, a lot of people on that McVay Shanahan family tree believe in strongly. And it's somebody who has more coaching experience again than Kevin O'Connell has years on the planet. So I get it. It makes sense. Um, but certainly there's work to do. Jason, certainly appreciate it. Thanks for breaking it down here in HQ. Want to remind you about the Pick Six podcast, the daily NFL podcast here in the CBS Sports family. It's a draft focus, how the Rams approach to the draft could influence other teams, how Bengals can improve their offensive line, and senior bowl takeaways. Ryan Wilson, Josh Edwards, and Chris Trapasso, the talent evaluators and draft analysts, all chiming in on the latest Pick 6 pod. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.